Welcome back, everybody, to the adventures of Duke Malta the Frail of the Cypriot League. Today, we take the Cypriot League. In between episodes, while well, the, the devs uh, pushed an update for it, which will add a few more mechanics to the to the Confederation government type. So hopefully we can actually see those. If all goes well, hopefully we can see those before the end of today to allow us to... Actually, I don't want to spoil it too much, but it will give us some, some new options for how we want to progress forward with, with things that hopefully we'll get to show off today as well. One thing I wanted to mention quickly that I didn't mention yesterday because I didn't want to info dump you guys too much, but there are a series of submods already available for this, which is, again, a testament to the amount of work they've put into this mod, which are basically optional toggles for you guys to get a bit more content. So things like... Uh, portrait submods. So for those of you who don't have the portrait packs, you can still play this without those being a necessity. But if you do have it, you can just enable a submod and get lots of extra bonus little portrait things that I've turned on for today and obviously for the rest of the campaign as well. There's also a submod if you want to revert the map to its more base game changes. So remove things like Doggerland, for example, which obviously they've added here. Um, just if you kind of prefer, if, if that's something that you would rather have closer to the base game CK2 map, but it would also help out with things. Just off the top of my head, things like trade routes, um, things like Flogie's tech mod, or Flogie's trade route mod, changing provinces around can really, really mess with those. So for compatibility as well, they do provide that option. It has a ridiculous amount of stuff going for it already, like I said, before it's even hit release. So if you want those two extra options, those are available as well. Like I said, I've enabled the portraits, but obviously we're not going to disable kind of the end game goal of things here. So we want to try and obviously take the Cypriot League as soon as possible. We also have, again, I don't want to spoil it, but there are options available to us to change around the government, to, to sort of fit things around to how we might want to do it. Because as we discussed yesterday, the Confederation is a lot less sovereign power compared to a feudal kingdom in exchange for a lot more flexibility. So with the elections, with your vassal limit as well, I mean, a 45 vassal limit is absolutely insane. So... We may want to adjust that depending on our play style. Or we might want to even play as a confederacy for a while and sort of expand the borders out somewhat. If we can come up with the elections, it might even be the safest way to play it. Anyway, we'll cross that as we get there. What I'm thinking is we actually need to obviously take it to start off with before we can start playing things like that. Duke Malta for the Cypriot League. Boom. Absolutely. I'm not worried about upsetting our leech. Bear in mind, yesterday we tried to kill the dude twice and messed up both times. So he already doesn't really like us. Trying to murder someone will, will generally do that. Um, what inroads do we have right now? We've got 1,300 men. Uh, 1,300 men. We clearly don't. We, we have, like, basically 1,100 men. Um, we're looking to still fabricate some claims. Do we have any Castles Bell available and just sort of, like, fellow Dukes? What about, like, our, uh, um, what about our immediate neighbor? Nothing. Okay. So what we should do then, I think, is instead start fabricating claims on this guy. Obviously, we didn't get lucky with the other one. Doesn't really matter too much there. I also want to try and get a better diplomat, too, because this guy isn't fantastic. He's not terrible, but a 4.67% chance yearly to fabricate claims. Not really what we're after. We're going to be here a very, very long time if we're trying to go for that method. Um, wow. Wait. Oh. Okay, so there's a... I was going to say, I saw it by diplomacy, but I thought I'd accidentally done it as marshal. Um, this guy wants to join a... Hey, he's an incredible marshal. Let's welcome him on board. Oh, my God. Is there going to be everybody... And then the marshal is an incredibly good steward. The... <laughs> We've got the other marshal as an entry character. We've got everybody but a diplomat, basically, which is a bit of a shame, but we can always be a bit more patient about things. I have to do the thing I dread most in CK2, and that's marry for claims. Ugh. Um, alternatively, we could just start bumping off like these guys. Bear in mind, we've got that plot power available to us, 92%. We could, like, kill this guy, for example, go back to our liege, and if he's above his domain size, which he's not, I was going to say he might actually want to dish that back out to us there. Is there anyone we could... And what was our plot power against our liege again? Um, uh, plot to kill. 112%. Bear in mind, he got us to stop it last time. As long as we agree to his request, stop it, and then restart the plot. Legally, he has no actions he can take against us unless he wants to straight up just go and imprison us which again he might not be allowed to because of the confederacy government type hey we got proud as well uh pa proud yeah that was proud genius good one <laughs> well this uh this piece of paper with a heart in it, that's clearly indicating proud brilliant do we want also want to join a society we've got obviously hermetics or companions i would love to get into the hermetic society soon um let's keep going with the business focus like i said we wanted to base some maybe go on our little uh birth of the kgb hello General Commissar Vladimir of the KGB. Those are the Stalinists, right? Very cool. Wow. What is proven that a man named Vladimir Stalin has founded the ancient law that connects the ridiculous, his ridiculous heresy, the Stalinist faith. Through secret training, his men have become lethal killers and managed to siege the castle in western Russia. Cool. So that's somewhat akin, I guess, to the man in black from... Obviously, the assassins from the base game, but the men in black from um, the, the, the traditional after the end mod. 
Okay, that's cool. These fools are harmless. You say that, but I remember it after the end, the Men in Black are particularly lethal. We'll have to see kind of what mechanics these guys get access to. They may have more rich than we imagine. Immediately grab another castle there as well. 150 gold for sending off land to a burger. It's minus 50% vast attacks. And how long is it for again? Um, 10 years, minus 50%, 150 gold. We're getting 3.26. I think the maths are kind of in our favor there, yeah? <laughs> that that definitely adds up. Okay, we're, we're obviously going to say that the prestige is the only thing that we're really worried about there. But that, that more than adds up. Again, oh, we've also got a Spiral Trader. We can use this to buy favors and try and scum up the succession. How old is our leech? Maybe we'll just die of old age. He's 58. And who's the next uh, potential successor here? Hippotos the Hospitable. Okay. I think you will die, and we'll try and kill off... Oh, apparently people kind of like him. That's probably why they're voting for him, huh? I was going to say we'll um, try and kill them off one by one until eventually we are the most likely to be elected. If we keep doing it, if we keep getting, like, children as um, as dukes on these thrones, it will eventually work in our favor. Or just getting three favors full stop will obviously help out as well. Um, fine, let's see if we can bump you off then, my friend, while we work on our gold so we can bribe some other people. Not up for it? Um, don't you? Don't you want to... <laughs> don't you want to murder this man? No? Life is pregnant again, though. Our, our, our current kid is... Oh, well, our current heir isn't fantastic. Obviously, he's got prolific, which is better than nothing. But I would like uh, some slightly better inheritance. But what else have we got? I mean, even Silver Tongue is better than prolific to some extent. Or it's, it's relatively easy to have kids in CK2. Let's be reasonable. So I don't think prolific is nearly as necessary as Silver Tongue. Um, we could trick him in a prison and get 100 gold out of this. Intolerable. Get him, get him imprisoned. 91%. You know, I'm not going to risk this. So let's get you... With the higher arrest chance. Uh, let some time take. And then we'll chuck him in prison. And get the 100 gold off him straight away. Crusade fails. Ooh, sucks to be you guys. Right, okay. Give me that 100% chance. Banish him. Take the 100 gold. 382. We're still not quite where we need to be to be able to bribe this election. But basically, as long as we play this right, as long as we save up. We've probably got this in the bag. I think we've almost, almost certainly got this in the bag. But also, bear in mind, we've got to be able to actually buy favors from the from the first place. This guy's not up for. Um, that's that's me. So we've already got him covered. Kalistos, we started this way before. He's also not up for it. Let's see if we can win Kalistos over again, at least to the extent we can buy a favor. That gives us two votes, right? Oh, technically three votes, including our own, obviously. Um, then we may just be able to pull off murder in this dude. What are we up to in terms of plot power? 50%. What about with our spy master as well? Uh... Plus nine percent. You know what? Never mind. I think you're probably better suited elsewhere. I'm just going to get him studying technology. Let's at least get something useful out of this rather than just plot power for a plot that's never going to fire. Oh, cool. Um, gardening is for weaklings and the clergy. That's a big brain play right there. What an alpha. We are obviously going to try and go for the gardening just to get the bonus a little stewardship. Definitely couldn't hurt there. Ooh, kind of charitable too. That would endear people to our cause. Try and get them to vote for us a little bit more. Sure. Both would be nice. Or neither. Okay, neither's fine too. Or just instantly two stewardship and gardener for that. Wow. That's another four net stewardship overall. Very nice. Helamakos is prolific again. A Sagittarius, which gives martial diplomacy. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, what does that give? Monthly piety is lessened. It's not really a big deal. Sickly though. Ugh. Okay, what's a sickly island out there in the world? This is maybe the worst name I've ever come up with in the CK2. I was thinking to myself, what is a, what is a complete rubbish, trash, garbage island? Then it occurred to me, the literal great specific garbage patch. <laughs> uh, that is actually the worst name I think we've got. We've had some pretty bad names in CK2, but that's definitely up there. Um, focus for you, why not? And then let's also, or we go for a thrift. It's always a safe bet, right? And then chuck him at the charitable one here. Deal with this child. Oh, that was pretty good. That was quite early. Gardener already, now followed up by this one. Your steward has come to see you one afternoon. It explains that he's devised to plan to bring exotic goods to the realm. We've got enough money to already make this work. Do we want to go for the risk? What have we got? We don't have Gregarious. We don't have over 12 diplomacy. We do not have... Okay, we have nothing here that can help carry us through this event, unfortunately. All right. In that case, let's not take any gambles. Let's buy the merchant ship. Tell the priests to get the fuck out. Nope, absolutely not. I'm not letting you guys mess this up for me. Because, again, we don't have Gregarious or diplomacy or anything like that. Buy him a dozen tough warriors. 30 gold. What's the spinning of us right now? I'm going to also... Oh, I would send him a gift, but he's out of Diplo range. Oh, he wants 479 gold. Oh, Rex, he's a merchant republic. Bollocks. Um, excuse him. I'm trying to teach this barbarian absolute manners. What for? Oh, it's learning. You need to pass that one, isn't it? This will be a profitable agreement. Come on. 100 gold. Uh, not massive, but again, another 100 gold. You've completed the we're in business achievement. Hey, that's pretty good. And I will also try and nab Greedy. We do actually want that one. There we are. Okay, that's actually really, really good. Character is infamously greedy. Another 10% national tax against. Try and help us bribe our way through here. Steward. Wow. 
What a weird title to give us. Again, I guess he doesn't trust us enough to make him his spy master. Wait. You're a different guy. Damn it. Okay. Um, being such an industrious ruler, you've not gonna notice 3.3 gold for 25 prestige and build time modifier minus 15%. That seems like a fairly good deal. Um, okay, so he's now king. Cool. Who's next in line? Uh nominate me. Uh and sure, we must find a court position. He's got the flu. It doesn't matter, we got a backup some. We're all good. Okay, how are we looking then? I imagine we are shit. Okay, young but skills bring him to court. Um that's not really what we're after here. Come Petros. Is that the son of the current... Oh, is this a, a random count? Okay, fair enough. So we could call in both of those favors. By which I mean we could buy another favor and call in two favors plus our own to basically guarantee it. The only reason I'm saying that is we've got 92% plot power. So we genuinely could drop our spy master in his capital and finish him off at this stage. I think that could work. Um, 9%. Yeah, let's do it. We've got slightly enough plot power. 101%. The best part is that's just from us as well. Oh, he's already caught us. Um, We could decline. I mean, it would break us free if he actually tries to imprison us and we rebel. Which I'm not really sure. You know what? I'm going to accept. Because it doesn't matter. We don't lose anything. I think we can't fire the plot again for a while. We actually just can immediately fire it again. Hope that he doesn't catch us so quickly this time. That works fine. Nice. Thanks. This is all thanks to poetry as well. We can start swaying people a little bit easier too. Wonderful. Uh, for, give me one of those favors now, brother. Face to is minus three. Shit, we might have to send him a gift on top of it. Why not? Let's see if that's enough to... There we go. Okay, so that's three votes right there. All we got to do is bump this guy off now. So what we'll do is the second the... I should buy a favor, have it in reserve. It's 200 gold. It's a little bit risky. So, of course, if he dies or something like that, we are just basically throwing away 200 gold. Another Perganat is pretty good. Um, so two favors. Now all we do is we wait for the plot to fire. Then before we say we murder him, before we accept that we have murdered this man, you know, it's like, oh, I could kiss that snake or whatever. That's when we will call in the favors. Actually, no, because that's an, a response event to him actually dying. What we would need to do is do it when the plot actually fires, even if we don't succeed and just take the gamble, I think. It's also a determinative zodiac sign. Why not? Um, learning, same trip opinion. Actually, we're probably not far off being able to join the hermetic society, are we? We need 10. Um... Yeah, we could just flip over if we want to. But anyway, we've done the Gardener and we've done the Trade Expedition now. If Besides debasing them in, business isn't going to do much for us. We could flip over to Scholarship and then just join Hermetics. I think that would definitely be worth it. Oh, God, is he... Okay, he's not asking us to stop the plot, thank God. Um, wants to educate my daughter in his culture. Um, okay, what else does he got? He's got something else that we don't. <gasps> Rulers can rent neighbor, uh, infidel neighbors for loot. Wait, but he's orthodox. Uh, does that mean we can do it now? Hang on. Uh, we can. Hey, nice. Okay. Um, to be honest, that seems like a better culture than what we've got. Hmm. I wonder if it'd be worth going for that culture, to be fair. Probably not going to move away from our religion, though. And our religion also gives us access to raiding. Um, he's got the real benefit from it there, which is still being Christian, but also being able to raid, too. I'm going to decline that one on the grounds that we don't really need it, to be honest, for, for what I just talked about. Right, let's send these guys out, see if we can grab just a little bit of cash from here and there. Um, is that all the troops we've got? Not fantastic, but that's all right. That's, that's not a big deal. Head to Rome. See if we can just grab some god. I'm not here to siege any places down just to... Oh, nice. Wow, we've got a lot of build time, build cost modifiers. If it wasn't saving up for favors, now would be a perfect time to try and capitalize on that a little bit. Still fairly expensive, but it's not too bad. Right, Rome. What have you got for me, then? Let's keep a very close eye on this. Just grab what we can. Get out before our troops get smashed. That's already a good amount of cash. Look at that. 71 gold already. Very nice. And I assume the, there are... Let's take a look at the Merchant Republics. See if I can get a, get a handle on where those are. And we can kind of set up a route to go out raiding on. Actually, there's much Republic right there. Wait. Oh, yeah, there, there he is. Okay, let's head over here then. Let's go and hit this one up next. What is that? That's his capital in Re Ragusa. I don't know if I'm saying that right. We're here for your gold. Not to, not to respect your life choices. Lisp and also Taurus. Not fantastic. I'm going to... Oh, God, I've run out... This was a horrible idea. What genius thought of... Oh, let's name them after islands. I googled top 10 islands because that's how... You know, that's how unoriginal I am. And apparently Mykonos is one of them. So I've decided to call my son Michael Konos or Mick for short. And plus it's on theme because we're right in Greece. Again, just a fucking awful naming scheme this time around. Um, how about thrift? What about, what about what about a radical departure from our three other thrifty kids and go for thrift with this one? Actually, that's not true. I think we actually trained our first kid in. Yeah, I was going to say we got first struggle. You want me to join your holy war for Cyprus? Um... Sure, that's okay. Call to arms against him. Yep, okay, absolutely fine. How much gold we got? 71. We're not going to take part, obviously. We're just going to sit in our, on our castle of gold. Ooh, getting kind. Yeah, if you don't mind, please. 
Still nothing. Man, we've had so many chances at kind of charity ball, and we've got really, really unlucky every single time. Nah, you guys are on your own here. Oh, now that we're a duke as well, we can actually interact with Nigeria. Um, send a eunuch. I'm sure I could fish one up from the depths of the earth somewhere to send off to you guys. Let's see what I can, uh, see what we can find. Look for anybody with obviously any sort of congenital traits. So strong, genius, quick, anything like that. This guy's strong, so we'll invite you over. Court Witcher. Okay. Uh, what else we're looking for here? I'm looking for genius. We're looking for quick. We're looking for basically, unfortunately. Um, anybody with stats above a certain... Wow, you're pretty good. Vitamins Court, maybe send him off as well. Um... That's basically it. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll see between those two which one's worth more, and we'll ship one of those guys off instead. Welcome. For an all-expenses-paid trip to Nigeria, you're welcome. By the way, you do have to sacrifice Dicker and Balls, so it's not really all-expensive. All-expenses-paid there. Thank you very much. 290. Um, do we not go on Kowtow? Right before the Emperor. Oh, we need to be at peace. Right, because we've joined this bloody war. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This guy launched a war against us to make us pay tribute? Wow, that's brave. Um... Okay, fair enough. And what about what's going on with this one then? Um, Holy War for Cyprus. We're at zero percent for that. But how the hell are they winning? Wow. So he's going to make our entire Confederacy pay tribute. Well, that's incredible. That's just what I wanted to hear. Oh. Uh. Did, no way did they Holy Wars. What the hell happened there? Did we? No, we didn't die. <laughs> um. Well, that's a new one. Holy shit. Maybe the Holy War succeeded and they grabbed it. Title get revoked? No. Maybe our title got revoked. Well, it still would have made us a count, right? I have no idea. Ooh. Whoa. Oh, 97. Okay, it's worked. Cypriot so League is due to tour. So now is when we want to call in our favors here. So call in succession support and then call in succession support. We should now be at the top of the yes. Hire Bowman for 20 gold. Sometimes I astound even myself. We've inherited the Cypriot League. Unfortunately, we've inherited these bloody law laws, laws, wars that we are on the verge of losing. Okay. <laughs> Excellent work. Uh, we've got the Duchy of Crete, Duchy of Rhodes. We're not going to make those quite yet. And we should also set ourselves as a crown focus. Wow. Um, I wasn't expecting it to go kind of that smoothly, I will admit. But that works pretty goddamn well. Okay. Are we particularly liked within our realm? We're not a banned character, of course. We haven't done particularly anything. Yeah, morally reprehensible. Everybody's kind of on, on board with us there. Right, I've got to try and bail us out between these two wars. Um, you've completed the one is not amused achievement. Thank you. And we've also completed the it's good to be king achievement. Thank you very much. Obviously, like I said, we will carry these achievements over through into other campaigns and see if we can tick them all off. Uh, oh, it's all our allies going to lose me. Like, why can't I drag around these troops? We've actually got very few troops that we can do things with. Right, so my goal then, my little personal, uh, personal campaign is to siege down the capital of the guy that's trying to turn us into a tributary. See if we can wipe him out while our while our allies deal with the rest. So let's head down into here. Um, how defended his capital? Barely. Oh my god, have we got enough men to siege it? We oh we don't quite. Oh you fuck. Um, right, call everyone in. Let's nominate a successor. Uh, who do we want to nominate out of our kids? I guess we'll stick with. Jamaica. Oh, no. Jamaica mean regret that name already. Let's go for... Oh, right. Court Tutor as well. I might actually make that title high priority at some stage. Just so... Because I always forget Court Tutor. People complain all the time that I forget Court Tutor. Look, I can't help it. It needs to... I think in the base game, it genuinely should be a high priority one. Seeing how important it is to... Oh, wow. Okay. Holy shit. We've got a lot of options now. Found a new empire, obviously. Convert to attackers religion. No, thank you. Restore Macedon. Restore Byzantium, restore the European Union, centralize the Cypriot League into the Kingdom of Cyprus. So this may be one of the options we want to take if we want to obviously head over to Atlantis instead. That seems like the safe idea. Wow, there's a lot of options here. My God, what does this one do? Uh, oh, broken localization. That's okay. We can work it out. Kingdom of Greece, Kingdom of Albania, and we must control Cyprus, Georgia, Bulgaria, Armenia, or Turkey, along with... 5,000 prestige, and you have to be Hellenic for that one, more importantly. This one, okay, so this one we would have to be Orthodox. Macedon being the just Hellenic variant of that, I would assume. And then European Union, we have to control the key member states of that. So we've got like Cologne, Lombardy, Trabon, Wallace. Okay, and then 5,000 prestige as well. I assume you can do that along with or so. I have no idea. There's obviously, genuinely, in this, in this character alone, we've got access to, what, five different playthroughs? One, two, three, four... And then, obviously, our lances as well is what we're going for. So, five. That's insane. Yikes. There's so many different paths we can take it down here. 
I'm glad I got our troops out of there. Unfortunately, there's not really much we can do with them right now. Let's hire some mercenaries, I think, before we get completely collapsed. Uh, 255 and 17 gold per month. I'm doing the maths on that. I'm thinking that's not the safest bet. Uh, 255 and 12 gold per month as well. Yikes. This is... Can we take some money? Excuse me, sir. Can I borrow some, <laughs> borrow some loans? We don't have any loans available. Uh... I feel like we're just going to have to accept that we're paying tribute. I, I'm just going to surrender this one out. I would rather focus on the Holy War and then break through this guy later on because he is pathetic compared to us. The fact This guy is an opportunity. He's only able to win this because we are not prepared to fight him. We'll deal with the Holy War because that's the important one. Then we'll flip and kick this guy off his ass afterwards. That's fine. That, that's a minor setback. We're going to lose a little bit of gold for a while. Not a big deal, to be honest. We can. Uh, I want to focus on this one instead. Oh, he has to join us now, though. Right, because he's uh, suzerain. We cannot, unfortunately... Oh, my friend. Do you know who you've just pissed off? The mighty... I mean, our intrigue is actually really, really good. I was going to make a joke about him being crap, but I suppose he is uh, specifically the only thing he's actually good at. Send him a gift. Let's see if we can kill him off. Is it, is it the tributary type that breaks on death? Um, cool. Might break when either party becomes a different realm. That's not helpful. Um, there's tributary, and then there's... I can never remember the difference between them. Mainly because I never use it, because it is kind of functionally useless. Um, but we basically make as much gold from declaring the war and having your troops phase as you do having them your tributary anyway. So, a bit of a waste of time. Um, right, you, my friend, are dead as dicks. I'm done with you. Okay, let's get our spy master over there to have him murdered. We'll see if it works. It probably won't, but that's okay. 106%. There's no harm in not trying, right? Now, for this, I know we've only got 800 troops going. Drop them over here so that we can take control of the war a little bit. So we can get them to attach to us and then control this sort of doom stack manually. I do like being able to call in our AI to do things for us, though. So he was trying to holy war Cyprus proper, I see. He's going to drop these boats over here, then. Right, you are done, my friend. Actually, how much more battle war score have we got? 71%. We might be able to tidy it up just with that. Hang on, 71%. We need another 4%. Okay, never mind. Ignore me. Now the order is restored, we can actually take a look at what we need to do to take full control of the realm. Uh, you have a member state separate league, which you can't hold anymore. Nice. Okay, so this flips over back into the full kingdom. All right, this is kind of cool. So again, confederation. Let me just refresh myself here. So we've got castle, fort, hospital, city, temple, and tribal. We're one out of five on our domain size, so we could start revoking a bunch of shit. And keeping it within our dynasty. I wonder how it works, whether it's like Merchant Republics in that certain titles carry over through to the next elected ruler. Or uh, whether or not whatever we revoke now will stay within our dynasty and only the kingdom title moves around. Can build Castle City. Yeah, okay. Can call in Eastern Feudal, Tribal Feudal, Icta, Calvinist Theocracy, Monastic Feudal, Oligarchic Republic, Islamic Republic, Imperial and Confederation to arms. Okay. Can imprison subject without special... Cannot imprison subject without special reasons. Um, does not care if others follow their religion. Does not get opinion penalties. So that's obviously the, the... Does not care if others follow their religion is not so useful for... Actually, can we still do religious revocation, though? Um, I mean, in theory, yeah. Apparently, they've changed the laws, which is kind of a shame. Interesting. I wonder if we could go for religious revocation and just take everything. It's because we've got orthodox characters. We've got Jewish characters within our realm as well. That could be a kind of cool play. More importantly, then, what do we want to do if we want to declare ourselves as the hereditary monarch? Uh, we have to have... Ooh, that's a tricky one. Medium, high, or centralized. Okay, fair enough. We... Or absolute rule. Oh, we have to have absolute rule as well. Ooh, yikes, that's tricky. Rule for 10 years as well. We could pull that off with this guy, I think. It's a lot of law changing. I've got to be very, very careful with when and how frequently we change laws. We're looking like, oh, God, the council have control over almost everything. Wow. Okay, I'm not probably going to be able to do it with this guy then, unfortunately. But we can start influencing things. I should have bought more favors to actually push for law changes while we were still a vassal. Okay, this is going to be fairly tricky, but we'll try and pull it off. So we've got another vote coming up in about a month's time. And everybody kind of likes us, don't they? Everybody's an opponent to it because, of course, they don't want to lose power. So we are going to have to try and win some people over, unfortunately. Um, right, honorary titles then. We've only got a court jester. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Could we maybe stack the council with just loyalists? We can invite... I mean, it's not the best way to do things because it will very much invite us to open rebellion. We could just invite a bunch of characters to court and put them on the council as loyalists. And we'll try that. Let's promote a few people here and see if we can... Uh, see if we can get ourselves, like I said, a completely loyal council just so that we can start... Pushing these laws through as quickly as possible. Now that it's off cooldown, I kind of want to get it done. Um, right, I'm going to put whoever's got the highest opinion, regardless of how good they are in that particular area. It's a horrible play. It's a horrible play, but I'm going to do it just because it would be kind of cool to do it with this guy. Our first super ambitious character, flipping it over into a 
into a hereditary monarchy. Right, there we go. Okay, not a bad start. How are we looking? We got one loyalist, two pragmatists, and three glory hounds. Is there anything I can do to convince you guys to back me here? We could request count support. I mean, what's this gonna, guy going to do with a favor? An unlanded course here. That's actually not a bad idea. All right, let's try it. Request council support with you and you, so we'll owe them a favor. We could even buy some favors. Um, yeah, I want to get as few favors from those guys as possible. As, as in owing favors to them as possible. The Da Mayuda. It's always advocated for holy struggle to liberate India from foreign religions and wickedness. Their efforts have hardly been united. As I say, holy band, perhaps. Okay, interesting. The Shiv Senna. The Ba... 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 <clears throat> that place has always been competitive, dedicated to expanding heathens and admirer from the Holy Land of India. However, they've recently suffered many defeats and setbacks. Who? I agree. We don't, we're not too bothered about that one. Thank you. Perfect, perfect. Right, let's call these guys in as soon as possible, if you don't mind. So call in council support. Call in council support. That should be, in theory, really all we need. Yeah, there we go. Three in favor, three against, but then we've got the deciding vote. Fantastic. What do we want to go for? I mean, imprisonment seems like a fairly solid one. That way we can try and imprison vassals, get them to go into rebellion, revoke titles via that method. We've already got revoke titles as ruler. Or we could go for revocation allowed. Which I think is more beneficial to us for the time being. Done. Then afterwards we'll go for imprisonment. Because imprisonment plus this one, eventually going up for religious revocation as well. I think we could be opening ourselves up to a lot of land here. So who have we already got? So like this guy for example. We don't want to imprison him. I want, I want to fuck up the imprisonment so he goes into full-blown rebellion. Then we can just revoke his titles. That could work. Um, here's what I'm going to do as well. I'm going to raise our troops, move them into his province. Although I think he's completely our numbers of his in troop count. He really, really does wow. Um, we could hire some mercenaries. I feel like it's a bit unnecessary. Okay, let's just go for it. So in prison, 62%. I get him. I'm hoping he goes into open rebellion. Damn it. That was not what I was hoping for, pal. Well, eventually we can just ransom him out, so... Consider it a long-term investment. Another son. This one is just a Virgo. What's that? Stewardship? I, I'm, I'm not sure I like the base game star sign system. It seems just so pointless. Like, make enemies with a lot of people. Try and stack the whole council with other Virgos. Doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to have any real purpose here. Um, oh, we completed the full health achievement. What's that? Five kids? Nice. I also named him Corfu. Um, you know, another... Sticking to the theme here. We've got four sons. We've got plenty of choice. We'll see how the education... I think the education is really going to be the determining factor. Because, of course, none of them got any good inheritable traits. We'll just wait and see how they end up being... Wait. How many wards have I thrown at her now? I feel like I've thrown at all the wards we've got. Is that a feature? Am I going crazy? Maybe I'm just going crazy. Don't worry about it. Chance of diligence. 20% of stress. 20% of diligence. I mean... <laughs> just stressed. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Don't worry about it. Let's go for learning, then. Let's go for learning. Let's get into the hermetic side to see as possible. What can we do now? Oh, right. Uh, build a observatory. Um, yeah, let me in, chief. I'm ready to learn. Why can't we? We're still too stupid, really. Man of your talents. Um, we've got to let the game and take us fine. I will write about his deeds as the mighty poet we are. Oh, instead he is a sad little man. Forgot about that. Maybe that's what we wrote about. That's what I desire to hear. Let me in. And let's also build our observatory as well. We can stop paying. Oh, wait. Let's compose a book. I was going to say we can stop paying tribute already. I was going to say, that's, uh, that would be a long time. Suzerain is not an independent ruler. Oh, we can stop paying if he if he gets vassalized by someone else. Got it. All right, so what do we need to overthrow this guy then? Bridge Ruby 2, he's got 2,600 men. I mean, we could probably stop him now very, very easily. The combined power of all of our vassals, it's whether or not they will successfully pull this off. I'm going to go for it. Why not? Let's get ourselves some freedom here. Diplomacy or intrigue? Learning. Or family history. Let's go for diplomacy or intrigue. I feel like that's a bit more useful when you're trying to rule and hold together a kingdom. So we're looking at we're looking at like 1,500 men from him, 1,200, 700. We've got more than enough troops. Drew Korich isn't going to join us, but that's kind of a minor setback, really. We've already got enough troops. It's just, again, hoping that they will... Hoping that they'll connect to our armies properly. Hope, hopefully they won't throw away troops doing stupid battles or anything like that. The AI trying to navigate any sort of seas or rivers is always fun to try and watch as well. Here we go. Before our troops can test the metal against the enemies, we must show that God's are in favor of this war. We build a mighty ball to victory for 175. Ugh. Um, a healthy cow will serve us well. Read the future from the goat's entrails or look into the trail of these birds. I think, how desperate are we to get free here? Goat's entrails. That's about as far. Oh, bollocks. Really? 
God, some of the Hellenic features in the base game are so hit and miss, aren't they? I feel like they intentionally try to overbalance them. I don't know how difficult it is to become Hellenic in the base game as well. They're just never worth it. They did both bomb us there, but honestly, they took a ridiculous amount of losses, so I'm not too concerned about that one. Right, let's see if anybody... Are you guys gonna... Oh, classic AI. There we go. That's what we're after right there. Okay, see, just capsule then. Fuck it. Change of plan. Just go for that. These guys aren't raising boats or moving any of their troops. Good. <laughs> Excellent work. What we can do, there's a way around that. It's going to be a little finicky because it's not going to work super well. Um, we can get our guys onto boats. We can go to their provinces and then tell them to attach to us. And then in theory, we should just be able to take them with us. Unfortunately, though, our boats obviously aren't large enough to do that. So it's going to be interesting to see if this even works. All right, now we can get on the boats. No, that doesn't work. All right, never mind then. Forget that I said anything. We're just going to have to stand there and they can watch us get smashed. We've completed the Stargazer achievement. Thank you. Okay. But did they just get on... Oh, they got on their own boats. I was going to say, did they just get on our boats then? Right. Goodbye. Hopefully, I uh, take his capital. Maybe take him prisoner. Take his heir prisoner. Another 50%. Nothing. Oh, but they did take our capital. So that's kind of a fair trade. How do the stars move, I think, would be a better one to go for. Bear in mind, we're already kind of low, crappy learning as it stands. Trying to make magnum opuses and whatever with our current learning would be kind of tragic. Um... Let's go for that in the hopes that we can grab Scholar from... I can't remember if this leads to... Yeah, the other one's missed it, right? I don't remember. It doesn't really matter too much. Let's go for this one. Send him some gold. Lose? Absolutely not. No, thank you. 20% chance of Diligent. Again, another shot. Come on. You fucker. You absolute... Every single good trait we've had a chance at today, we've missed. Besides Greedy, but there's so many options to get Greedy. Constantinos is Gemini. Stewardship, general opinion, minus five. Really? Paradox. Come on, we got to chat about these really, really crappy star signs. Um, I suppose given that every character gets one for free, okay, fair enough. But even plus one to a stat is not going to be that relevant at the end of the day. How about, bear with me on this one. How about thrift? What if we really push the boat out there and, and really flip things around to thrift focus? Try and go for shrewd. Try and make these kids not complete garbage all the time. You are an okay educator. Right, I'm going to alt tab to my list of top islands here and find another one. What about the Isle of Sky, but spelt the proper way? The right way. Excellent. Nice work, team. We might just be able to outpace him here in terms of sieges. To the extent that we should be able to shut this ward down. Secrets of the world will be laid bare to us. Oh, God. This is always a great start. Um, Peace. We surrender? We surrender? Is he at war with someone else? No? Surrender at 62%. Fine. Not a problem. I guess he's realized it's more effort than it's worth to actually keep these troops raised. Okay. We're free. Nice work. Um, Which do we want? Secrets hidden throughout the world, so we could go for some stewardship, I guess. Now, let's go for secrets hidden throughout the world. Give me some more intrigue, boy. I'm, I'm here to just kill absolutely no one. Absolutely no one. That's what I wanted to say. Don't you dare. Don't you kill this man. We, the game has really been working against today. Look at the incredible traits we've got. That's right. We picked up Stressed, Lunatic, and Gardener. And now, apparently, Fever thinks we're dying of dysentery. Who? Were you not like a co concubine or something? Can we even take second wives? I didn't even consider that. Hang on. Uh, no. That's okay, then. I feel less bad about forgetting it now. Gout is okay. That's not too bad. It could be a lot, lot worse. Um, my life was in your hands. Yeah, okay. Why not? Go for it. Let's, let's go for the risk. What? How could it get any worse at this stage? Oh, I know how it could get worse. We could probably have our dicker and balls chopped off. Damn it. Oh, God. No, that's really bad. That's not even for the meme. The eunuch is fine. That's meme level worthy. This is just... He might have just murdered us. Shit. Um, okay. Panic plan. Can't go for hunting because we just put over the bloody scholarship. He is a dead man. He is 100% a dead man. We got elected? <laughs> what? Okay, I'll be honest. Wasn't expecting that. We're back in the game. So rule for 10 years. Done. Easy. Oh, wow. We actually might be able to pull it off with this kid. Everybody thought that it would be Despot Malta who would seize control of, of, of Cyprus. No. Everybody's sleeping on Despot Jamaica. I'm so annoyed at myself for that still. He's got Rowdy. Still on struggle. I mean, Rowdy's obviously one of the better traits to get. We need Rowdy and Willful for the best education. Let's make sure we've got a Guardian again. Um, preferably a martial educator. Oh, you're fucking incredible. Yeah, okay. That's a pretty damn good Guardian, I won't lie. Charitable is fantastic, Kind is fantastic, just obviously. Plus with 22 skill in the field, he's training us in. That's a pretty good educator. Not fantastic, but pretty good. Um, I set this council, then how the hell did we get elected? That's mind-blowing. I mean, great, fantastic, but you people are 
unreal. What about this lunatic, madman, greedy, shit bag of a guy that's been ruling over the kingdom? Took it through stabbing the last guy in the back. Why don't we just elect his son? Maybe he'll be better. Oh, to be honest, an eight-year-old boy might be a step up from the last guy we were playing as at the end of the day. Okay, um... We could release that guy just basically for... What if we ransom him out? 145 gold. I was going to say we could release him for the mercy. Um... I don't want to elect him. No, 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 no. That's the opposite of what I want to do here. I guess we'll go for... Actually, our sister's coming out really well. Ireland. With Willful, Rowdy, and Curious. We're essentially looking at what? Brave, Shrewd, and Brawny from that. Best, best outcomes. Yeah, okay. Go for her. Make sure she's also being educated as well by the same guy as us. Because she is uh, she is pretty fantastic. There we go. And again, she's got the best traits for the martial education there. So she is going to be absolutely our top tier choice for successor. Right, crown focus. Let me just go ahead and set up all this other crap as well. And then people can shout at me when I make the wrong person in the wrong position. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Well, never mind. We'll try and once again work back up to the Hermetic Society. But I think that's a pretty good place to leave it for today. We did a pretty damn good job, I say, of, of being able to take the Cypriot League. Somehow retaining it. That's mind-blowing. No fucking clue why they elected this kid, but they did. And that's the important thing. Now, moreover, we've got plenty of time to be able to try and... Flip things over into the Kingdom of Cyprus rather than the Cypriot League. We're obviously, the 10 years, like I said, going to be easy to fulfill. 500 Prestige. We'll pick that up just passively playing as a King tier character. Then we need... What is it? Oh, God, I saw that and I was like, hang on a minute. That seems pretty difficult. Um, she's centralized in absolute rule, so keep overthrowing the council systematically piece by piece. Our region might fuck with that. So I'm going to send him a little bit of a gift there just to keep him on side so that he doesn't be too much of a shit. Not that it'll influence him too much after all. And then hopefully by tomorrow, we'll be we'll be ready to go with a nice feudal kingdom in our control. Thank you all for watching. As per usual, I'll throw the Discord links to the mod down in the description. Oh, it's going to be in the description for every episode from now on. Uh, but I'll also pin it in the top comments so you guys can go and check it out. I'll also pin the Paradox CK2 Humble Sale that they've got going on as well with my partner link. So if you want to support the channel, also get some cheap CK2 DLC for a real good price that's also down there too that's only running for a few more days so just bear that in mind and also a thank you goes out to the patrons for making the channel possible in the first place big shout out to when it loads thank you very much big shout out to justin wallace grimwolf bacon kitten iguana squad nostrus gogolus tyler mcclam sarabi cyric 313 limpy george zazzy 7011 tom terry 18 orcs wolf for Kunda Vasquez, roll 2D1 games, and everyone else at the Insane Tier Levels on Patreon. Thank you guys for going above and beyond in your support of the channel. It is much appreciated, as always. And a thank you as well goes out to Smooth Octopus, Haji Dumar, Shittle Dirt, Adam M, RKL, Layla, Emperor Caligula, Brittany Lee, Mr. Awesome, Kane GB, Socrates, Nip Nikki Sticks, Volta, Jackson P, and Hupalia, along with everyone else at Patreon as well. Thank you at home for watching. See you all tomorrow for additional adventures. As a king, I am king now. <laughs>